Kwa china la baba na la mwana na roho mtakatifu Baba wetu tume kusanyika mali hapa kwa ajili ya neema kwa ajili ya ulinzi na kwa ajili ya baraka zako Na baba tunaelewa vizuri tangu mwaka jana ukaturukisha na tukafika mwaka huu 2024 na kama ilivyo testuri yetu kukutana pamoja na hawa viongozi ya mashinani kwa jina maarufu ma chief shop stewards assistant na wale viongozi wote wa biwanda na pia tumekutana na viongozi wao general secretaries pamoja na katipu mkuu wa kotu ambao naongoza vyama vyote ya wafanyakazi katika nchi yetu. Na baba kwa sababu ya heshima yako tuko hapa solidarity. Tunakuomba na tunakusii. Ya kwamba pila wewe atuwezi. Na pila wewe Dr. Francis Atoli awezi. Na pila wewe Secretary General Awa ma General Secretary Sawawezi na pila wewe viongozi Mashofsti watu wetu hawawezi na hata employers na hata na serikali. Kwa hivyo baba neema yako inayoshinda chochote duniani na pingu, na pingu ikaweza kuonekana mali hapa. Utumulike, tusaidie, utupe neema, utupe kibali na hata tarehe moja wakati tutakapofaulu katika huru Uru Garden Bwana wa majeshi utukufu na heshima itakurutia We submit to your lordship because we know without reason or without ya kwamba without you nothing is going to be done contrary to your will Asante kwa asubuhi ya leo kwa kila moja aliyefika leta amani yako na roho wa Mungu ikatuweza kututuliza na kutupa sound mind ili tusemesane pamoja. Kwa hivyo baba ongoza sasa katibu mkuu kwa yale yote ambao naenda kufanya na kusema yeye ni chombo. Na kwa hiyo utamba hekima na maarifa nasi tutapokea kwa shukurani. Utukufu na heshima ikakurutia. Kwa jina la baba na la mwana na roho mtakatifu na nyinyi kama ni watu wa Mungu mniseme na kupika makofi ya juu pande ile Pika kama unamaanisha bwana Asante can sit down Nafikiri kuna kitu muhimu sana nitampa katibu aweze kutuongoza kwa hii kwa hivyo kusimama alafu tutaendelea very important habari zenu sawa asubuhi tena wale mimi nataka kuwashukuru watu wa KTN walianza advert yetu jana wale walikuwa na fursa ya kuangalia hiyo advert ya kuambia ninyi muje hapa Mliona wakati huo wa kwanza chairman wenu bali aliyemwaja mzee Raja Mwondi alikuwa kwenye hiyo mkutano yetu ya mwisho ya mambo ya Labor Day mwaka huu hatukuweza kuwa na yeye wengi wenu mnaelewa na ni vizuri tu ngao alisema ni dakika moja kumbuka mtu mimi nimekuwa na yeye saidi ya miaka 30 lakini unaambiwa unapoondoka hata uli, kama ulikuwa great namna gani sijui ni kwa maana ila aliondoka wenye kutengeneza ako kanjia hawakufikiria mambo mengine ili mtu kulingana na uzito yake ah napatiwa tu dakika chache bati kwa vile sasa hiyo ni universal tumpe tu dakika moja kumkumbuka huyo mzee Raja Mondi former chairman general wenu na former general secretary wa printing union
Thank you. Asande. Sande, Daktari, uh, uh, Dr. Francis Atuli, ambaye ni kiongozi yetu katika inji ya Kenya na Afrika na kila sehemu ya dunia. Um, katifu mkuu nilikuwa nataka kuomba kidogo leo na wale viongozi ambao mefika. Ya kwamba uh, Shop Stewart asande kwa kufika. Tangu last year tulipokuwa hapa na tuka karipisha nyinyi tuwe pamoja kwa chakula mpaka sasa tunashukuru Mungu kwa kutulinda sisi zote ngawa wengine wameondoka lakini Mungu ametupakisha na kwa hiyo ningetaka mchipikia makofi kwa Mungu kwa kuwaleta hapa <laughs> Tunapika makofi si kusema sisi ni wajinga Kushukuru nani au namna gani Naomba tu, tu, tuko sasa kwa mkutano. Mwambie jirani yako tuko kwa mkutano. Eh, hii ni ya katibu mkuu. Na wewe kesho utakuwa katibu mkuu au unafikiria? Hata hii chairman si utakuja kuchukua. Mbona unasema kama uwezi? Si utakuja kuchukua. Sisi tulikuwa huko. So changamuka kidogo. Hata kama kuna njaa, njaa wezi kuwa wewe. Si ndio? Kwa hiyo ukikubali wewe utakwenda tu. Because confession is you possess what you possess. Nilikuwa naomba katibu mkuu hawa watu tatu peke yake. Tunataka atuwezi kwenda kila siku kama vile tunaenda. Nilikuwa nataka iko hapa people with wisdom. Unajua wisdom, si ndio? Nani aliomba wisdom mtu anaitwa nani? King Solomon. Na nyinyi ni watu wa wisdom that is why mumekuja. I wanted you kabla katibu ataongea. Kuna kitu ambaye ungetaka aseme. Nitarudia. If it doesn't make sense, I will move somewhere else. Ninasema leo Nataka kabla watu wataongea nyinyi watu tatu useme kuna kitu nataka katipu mkuu aseme kwa mambo yetu. Si mnaelewa vile tunafanya? Does it make sense? Does it make sense? Nataka tuongee bwana nyinyi ni wanajeshi. Now who can be the first person to say makatibu tafadhali this is a very important thing nataka uweke katika ile speech yake hii maswali itakuja baadaye tumesoya maswali lakini let's give proposal tuko pamoja so who can be the first Simama na kuja hapo. Iko mtu hapa. Huyo. But tunaelewa na eh sio maswali. Ni a good proposal. Kwa katibu na, na, naomba tusikitane wakati wanapoongea. I'm going to keep only three people. Kama na sisi ni waine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, shop steward Sam Jambo. Uh, katibu wote kwa na katibu wetu mkubwa na Francis Atuoli. Mimi naitwa uh, Douglas Nyongesa nikiwa deputy chief shop steward kutoka katika union yetu ya mabawabu. Na nikiwa nafanya katika kampuni ya SGA. Katibu imekuwa ni miaka mingi wakati uh, wanatangaza mambo ya increment. Pale kwa increment unapata kwanza 
wanatuandikia sisi wanasema watchman ile payment na mnavyojua sisi tulitolewa jina ya watchman tunaitwa security officers hapo kwa wage bill unapata katika kitengo cha ulinzi tuko na vitengo tofauti tuko na madereva tuko na mtu anaitwa dog handler hasa mimi nimekuwa dog handler kwa miaka yote hadi leo hii Unapala tuko na watu ambao wanaitwa inspectors ama supervisors lakini katika hiyo wage bill hakuna mahali wako captured unapoenda kuuliza huyu jamaa ambaye anatembea na umbwa usiku mzima au mchana mzima je basic yake ni gani hana basic yoyote pale umbwa iko ina cost more than 100000 huyu mtu anapewa basic sawa sawa na ule jamaa mwingine ambaye atembei na umbwa umbwa iko na lots of infections wataenda yeye anatumia pesa mingi kutunza afya yake kuliko ule jamaa ambaye hatumii umbwa dereva vile vile anapogongesha gari au gari napopata accident analipishwa zile spare parts ili hali yeye hana basic pale kuna mtu anaitwa car commander kuna mtu anaitwa kuru katika kitengo chetu cha ulinzi hawaangaliwi katibu tunaomba wakati weji bill inatangazwa please wakapche hizo vitengo zetu tutakuwa tumesaidika asanteni omba tafadhali shorten 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 please eh bwana yesu asifiwe eh katibu all protocols of served ninakuamba nina katibu lengo kuu ikifika tarehe moja please tumeenda njaa sana ambia rais atangaze kitu eh mimi kwa majina naitwa Simon Kwemboi Ndiwa natoka kampuni ya Securex na katibu pia upande wa security ninaomba ya kwamba utuunge mkono sisi tume atutaki mambo ya percent unga mkono private sector 30000 asante amjambo nyi wote kwa ma, kwa kwa majina naitwa Martin Kioko kutoka printing na ile kitu katibu naweza ongea uangazia mambo ya freedom of association alafu kuna hii kitu kingine inaitwa outsourcing inamaliza union yetu sandeni viongozi oye national chair only katibu mkuu general secretaries Nashukuru Mungu kwa hii nafasi nimepewa. Yangu ni kuomba katibu mkuu kwamba kuna shida ya privatization katika sekta ya maji. Iko shida kwa sababu itakuwa ni ngumu wananchi wetu kupata maji na italeta loss of jobs katika sekta ya maji katika hiyo bill ambayo iko Senate sasa hii na imepita bunge tayari ina propose ya kwamba maji itaenda kwa mikono ya watu private. Tunaomba katibu mkuu katika kazi yako na wisdom yako ongea na serikali waweze kutoa hiyo privatization. Maji ni uhai kwa wananchi wa Kenya. Na tunaomba isikuwe private. Asante sana Mungu awabariki. Katibu mkuu kwa majina naitwa James Jeptrim, branch secretary at Ripa Katengala branch IBZ ile shida tuko nayo kwa hivi set ni mambo ya match kutoka Nairobi wanatufanyia rationing ya match huko hivi set especially unapata wa mama choo mingi sana haina match so tuna expect kuongea hiyo kwa pasta priority kwa sababu ya mambo ya match ya hivi set wanafanya rationing also mambo ya electricity imekuwa too high Ibi set sasa investor swingi iko ibi set ametoka ameenda Tanzania wengine wameenda nje zingine so angalia hiyo na waangalie upande investors na tax society iko juu asante
unaweza unaweza niliomba na ukipichana unapichana au unataka kwa Yangu ni tofauti si asikiri Yangu bana atoli samani na viganga kalele akiona mfanya kazi na finywa Leo wangapi hapa na nakubali au slevi Nana nakubali au slevi Hii serikali ya sasa na tukata pesa na nguvu bana atoli Tunataka ututetee tusikate au slevi Angalia mimi ni muse. Mimi ni muse. Natoka mali uju natoka. Roba duba. Mimi natoka mali roba duba yuko nyuma yangu natoka. Tunatoka na ye mali moja. Kusema kweli kama mimi nakata wa utilevi. Tabata nyumba siku gani. Kwa hivyo hii zilikali ya sasa na finya sisi. Naomba ba na ateli. Usinyamaze. Uende umambia hii zilikali. Sikata hii za utilevi. Asante sana. Sasa sumumbikie makofi huyo mtu. Niliona Jusa akiongea huko kwa mapawapo pia. Si ulikuwa na yeye. Ah ndugu yake okay. Anaitwa Dr. Atoli hapana Atel eh. Dr. Atoli na lakini sawa. So ni nani mwingine? Yeah. Aya, tusikise viongozi. Hiyo ilikuwa mzuri, si ndio? Anamwezi kunipikia magofi hata. Na, na katibu sumumbikia magofi ndio achukue sasawa. Wacha ni kuna profesa Wangara. Kutoka na ito, wapi huko Western? No. Yeye ni mtu ya sukari. Mumiasi ya. Na makambuni kupwa kupwa. Takeka kidogo kidogo. Ya. Yeah. Yeye pia anatusaidia kwa demarcation ya unions. Ile usingie kwa boundary ya mtu mwingine. Ilikuwa ika hapa moja mzuri. Aya. Katibu mkuu. Nduku Francis Atoli. Mwenye kiti. Piongozi wa fanyakasi na shop steward Samu Jambo. E, hali ya weda siyo nzuri lakini utasungumusa mambo machache sana. Kwanza na wakaribisha Labor Day. Mukuje kama mechipanga vizuri. Na maandishi enu msawa sawa. Na kila kambuni. Atutake kambuni zingine kukuja kwa demonstration. Na huku wamefungia wa fanyakasi wao kuingia kwa union. Wasitumia nafasi hiyo kumarket vitu zao na wamezuia wafanyakazi kuingia kwa union. Kwa hivyo kila kambuni ambayo inakuja na demonstration kiongozi wao ni shop steward zimbele wamebeba bendera ya chama ndio kambuni hiyo nyuma. Si ndio? Haya, la pili. Nataka kukuzia mambo ya demarcation. Umeambiwa mimi ni chama na demarcation. Tuna shida moja na viongozi sisi nikiwa moja wao. Uchaguzi unapofika wafanyakazi wanachagua viongozi wao. Kuna wengine ambao walikuwa viongozi wanapoteza viti. Wakipoteza viti kenye kinafuata ni kuanza kurekrut wafanyakazi kutoka kwa union hii kupeleka kwa union nyingine. Hiyo mtindo muache. Unapoteza leo kesho utarudi kwa uongozi. Usifikirie umepoteza na imeisha hivyo. Kwa hivyo tukae kwa vyama vyetu Tuchenga vya mavietu, tusiwe watu wa kutangatanga. Tajiri anateka advantage. Kwa sababu, ukifukisha wafanya kazi, kitu anafanya na kusema ya kwamba hatambui union, yenye ilikuwa na recognition na ee, anasema wafanya kazi wameama. Anawacha wafanya, wafanya kazi diwa napake kwa hewa. Tafadhali tujiadari na hilo jambo, na tutasiti kupanya vya mavietu, siwe na ngufu, viongosu wenu, wawatete, ili tupate CBA. Na kwa viongosu wenzangu, tafadhali 
tusiwe watu wa kuwa viongozi na hatukamilishi ile inayotakikana kwa kikisha CPO umenikoshete kwa kikisha unatetea ufanyakazi na KSS sao kwa kikisha kila jambo linaendelea ili wafanyakazi wasikutoroke yangu ni hayo na Mungu asite kuwabariki asanteni sana haya nao kuna wawili peke yake dakika mbili mbili kwa sababu ya mvua nao katipu lazima hii watu kesho wataanza kunipika vita wacha wasalami wale wako wasimame tu alafu waangue mbili peke yake si tena secretary yes au na wakubwa tuanzie huko yeah simameni tu alafu nasema china china alafu hiyo nyingine Just China tu peke yake. Na, na nyinyi mupikie hawa makofi kama China akikaa pika makofi saidi alafu akae chini. Ya yeah, chairman, general, my colleagues, uh, general secretaries, shop stewards bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nione mkono juu God is good and all the time. Wangapi wamefurahi kuona katibu mugu? Asante sana. Mimi chairman naomba rudi dakika moja tafadhali. Ya. Yeah. Anataka niseme ya kwamba sector private security imekuwa na myriads of uh, challenges. Na mnajua mambo ya reform is a process. Jana ama juzi mheshimiwa rais alichakua chairman wa PISRA na hiyo board iko properly constituted. Na yale masuala ambayo mmeuliza uh, members wangu wameuliza katibu mkuu tulikuwa na board jana. Na tumesema ya kwamba hii industry of private security wani CBA wani union na hiyo tunafanyia kazi hivi karibuni tutakuwa na kikao ya supervisors na shop stewards na hiyo mambo yote tutaongelea pande hiyo Mungu awabariki sana The chairman Tafadhali just introduce yourself mvua okay. itatupiga hapa Habari zenu nyinyi nyote. Mimi naitwa Beatrice Modoni. Na ni general secretary wa Jockey and Betting Workers Union. Ningekubaliwa ningesema kitu lakini mlazima. China tu. Solidarity. Solidarity. Hiyo ni sauti ya wafanyikazi kweli. Solidarity. My name is Amos Karisa, the Deputy General Secretary of the Bakery, Confectionery, Food Manufacturing and Allied Workers Union of Kenya. Kwa wale ambao wanapenda keki, eh, sasa sisi ndio tunawatengenezea keki tamtamu. Tunapenda yote. Makofi, makofi. Thank you very much. Yeah, asante baba. Hamjamboni wote. Hamjambo tena. Kwa majina ni Nicolas Ombaka. Nimesimama kwa niaba ya My General Secretary Mr. Wickliff Nyamwata ambaye hayuko katikati wetu kwa sababu ya kiafya. Yeah. yeah. Asanteni sana. Asante. Asante. Masofu Thank you very much. Asante. Solidarity. Solidarity. Kwa majina naitwa Teresa Jerry, General Secretary Mkuu wa Kazi Union. Sijui cheo utaniruhusu niseme kitu. Solidarity. Solidarity. Waka soe. Naitwa Rose Omamo, General Secretary Amalgamated Union of Kenya Metal Workers. Asante Rose. Habari zenu nyote. Naitwa Sava Wickliffe, General Secretary Kenya Hotels and Allied Workers Union. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa majina ya Eunice Mwende from Kenya Shipping. I'm representing our GS. She is not feeling well. I'm Jambo. Kwa majina ni James Torome, General Secretary Kenya Union of Special Needs Education Teachers. Instruction are very important. Jambo, tu salimiane. Asante sana God is good. Mimi naitwa Nelson Moniki, mimi ni trustee wa Kotu. Asante. Asante makofi. Amjambo wafanyikazi wenzangu. 
kwa majina Julius Maina General Secretary Kenya Shoe and Leather Workers Union. Asante baba. Bwana Sifiwe Chief Steward. Asante. Mimi ni Deputy General Secretary Kenya Plantation and Agriculture Workers Union. Mimi naitwa Thomas Kipkemboe. Apili yangu ni kwamba maswali ambayo mmeuliza katibu inatakana mulete wengi kwa kiwanja ili apate nguvu siku hiyo president aongee jambo hilo ndiye anasikia. Asante. Mmejua wati ya shamba kubwa kubwa? Mnajua? Umeona ye? Umeona hapa? Pika makofi bana sema ye tu. <laughs> Asante mwandishi. Uh, all protocols. Marafiki zangu amjambo. Um, kwa majina naitwa Albert Jero, General Secretary of the Workers Union. Thank you very much. Asante. God is good and all the time. Eh, hey, mbona muitiki? Hata kama ni baridi tuko sawa. Eh, hey, kwa majina ninaitwa Caroline Ruto. Mimi ni uh, second assistant secretary general Kotu na natoka chama cha eh kwa ketau. Hiyo ni ya, ya stima ya umeme. Karibuni Kotu. Asante. <laughs> All right, asante sana cha uh, yangu itakuwa mawili tu alafu nimpe mwenyekiti alafu akaribishe mwandishi mkuu. Kitu ningetaka kusema mwandishi wa kwamba. Okay, wacha roba duba aongee kwanza. Eh, asante sana. Wafanyakazi wewe. Mimi naitwa Roba Duba, General Secretary of County Government Workers Union. Uh, katibu I want to thank you so much. General secretaries wote na wafanyakazi wote. Tuna changamoto mengi na nina hakika. Na nimepata kushughulika pamoja na hao wengine inapata uh, attention ilivyo. Kwa mfano, tumepata barua kutoka kwako kwa ofisi yako tufanye proposals mingi ambayo itasaidia kubadilisha sheria vile ilivyo sasa katika Kenya sheria ya wafanyakazi Labor Relations Act Tango 207 naija kwa revise kana vipengele vingi ambazo zinafaa kuangaliwa na tunakuandikia proposal vile uliongea eh, na tafuta nafasi ili tupate kushughulika na kuongelesha president ya nchi yetu ili tuweze kuweka malalamishi na shida yetu yetu kwa meza ili tuweze kuongea kwa sababu Labor movement maana yake ni kushughulikia wafanyakazi katika kuongea na kuelewana na wafanyakazi na serikali the tripartite fraternity which you are doing very well tutaku support tutaenda na wewe all the distance necessary kuna mambo ile ya kupunguza also retirement age kila kitu ina changamoto yake tuangalie kwa kina kupunguza retirement age ina itadhuru wafanyakazi kwa kiwango gani tutakuwa na wewe tutakuwa pamoja tuwe na solidarity Mungu ni mwema Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati Asante sana Asante sana mwenyekiti Yangu itakuwa machache kabla nikaribishe mwandishi Kitu ningetaka niongeje yake ni kuhusu mambo ya wale wafanyikazi wote walioko katika uh, public service tuna shida mwandishi mkuu pesa zote ambao tuna tunapata tunalazimisha tuweke kwa e citizen na pesa kienda kwa e citizen hairudi kwa uh, idara ili tupate mshahara kwa wakati inaofaa hii ni jambo ambao lazima tutafute hatuna shida ya pesa kulipwa through e citizen lakini iwe inaregeshwa kwa Uh, idara so that idara ipate nafasi ya kufanya biashara yake na kulipa mshahara wakati na ofa. most of the uh, public service co uh, corporations na state corporations sasa mshahara haipatikani kwa wakati na ofa, kwa ajili pesa inachelewa katika e citizen naomba treasury wafanye juhudi ili within 24 hours hiyo pesa irudi watu walipe mshahara kwa njia inayofaa ili watu walipe mshahara yao wakati inatakiwa walipe house house rent walipe shule wapate nafasi ya nauli na wapate nafasi ya kulipa school fees kwa hayo mengi na kuficha wacha ni mpeo chair akaribishe mwandishi mkuu aongee na na nyinyi makofi kwa deputy umekuwa very precise so wewe sangu kwanza katibu 
kwa sababu tutakaribisha wewe sasa now ile sita ya ipset katipu na kiwanda singine iko mambo ya corruption ya maji na wamama wakienda kwa toilet hakuna maji na hiyo mwenye akili au mwenye masikio anachua ni ngumu sana cooperate bila maji kwa hivyo kuna shida huko that is why people wanaondoka na wakiondoka tutakosa kazi alafu hata hiyo vitu tepi tunasema hii si ni mzuri lakini sasa tapo ni ya kwamba hata kwa shule ni shida samani sisi tulisoma na marakwe na soma na kuni so i don't know how you can change into kulipa citizen i don't know kwa hivyo ni shida angalia hiyo ya mwisho katibu kuna watu wengine wana social unaita social media unaita nini njeri eh yeah. siku nyingine katibu amekuwa hospitali sangi siku nyingine nilikuwa hospitali watu wanaweka propaganda shop steward ni muhimu sana si ni kiongozi yetu tuko na kiongozi mwingine kweli iko sasa baba mwingine ameenda Afrika unajua sasa baba ila amepaki ni nani muniambie sikumu sana mimi Ah, amina sema. Yeah. Yeye ndio nasema watu walisema alikuwa hospitali. Na hawezi kutoka. Na kwa hospitali. Iko mtu anajua akienda kwa hospitali hawezi kutoka. Si ni ya Mungu. Au namna gani? Watu kama hao tunasema nini? Nataka nione mikono yenu sio tu kushindwa na kukaa. Naona mikono. Na wakicharibu tena tufanya tutafute hawa. Au au nyinyi waoka? Eh? Atukuletee wewe ndio naenda kutafuta. So kwa hivyo mumuombe kiongozi yenu. Si ni sawa sawa? How many people watasema watamuombea? Eh? Munamuombea? Are you sure? Are you sure? bas hii watu ya miti asiju kama wanaona wamesikia kwa hivyo tuweke makofi kwa mheshimiwa daktari Francis one ah bana moja pili simama kwa mama sima tunataka si ndio saila nakuja tunapika pigelekele we have only one liter kwa lepa movement isn't it mwambie jirani kama kuna mwingine angoje haya one wacha makofi vizuri moja asande katibu mkuu ongea ongea chief chef steward asande fungua na ufunge aya sande katibu Thank you thank you thank you Ken. Tuna problem moja ya mvua and it is threatening and it is really. 
na sisi tulikuwa tunataka mvua na kitu kikubwa kimetuleta hapa ni mambo ya kumobilize ourselves for the international labor day ningelikuwa hapa mapema lakini pia issue inaambatana na madaktari wetu inakula sisi viongozi wa kazi kichwa na vile mnavyojua nilienda ILO tarehe nane tulikuwa huko ILO barasa na nani tulitoka huko tulitoka hapa tarehe moja. kufika huko tumemaliza mkutano wa huko na eneo hili tarehe sita paka tarehe nane mwezi wa februari wangara na baraza walitrepresent kule dar es salaam kwa ajili tuna uchaguzi wetu wa international labor organization governing body tarehe kumi juni na mimi nimefanya sana saidi ya miaka ngapi baraza from 2008 nilichukua kwa mganda na nikienda kila wakati wananichagua na hii ni kiti nataka irotate katika region na nilikuwa nimesema tujaribu ndugu zetu wa Tanzania kwa ajili nimeleta maendeleo nimeleta mabadiliko katika ILO nimeleta hii kitu sasa mnasikia inaitwa collusion global collusion for social justice ambaye component of uh, decent work yule mnasikia kazi mzuri inaingia hapo ndani nimeleta the first african kuwa director general of international labor organization hiyo ni kazi mingi hata ukienda huko wanasema hiyo mtu alifanywa kampeni na tuoli so nikasema hivyo yeye lakini hapo walipokwenda huko wenzetu katika eneo hili wakakataa wakasema mzee atuli ndio moving by ama library ama data yetu ya information ya wafanyikazi katika this region all what we have in Uganda Tanzania Rwanda Burundi Zanzibar Ethiopia na zile nchi ziko karibu kwa hii region it is because of me after having been elected as the president of the larger trade union federation of eastern africa wale wakakataza wangara alikuwa huko wakamkataza vile the way you coordinate africa and asia come and coordinate us and after tunaona matokeo itakuwa namna gani sasa tulipomaliza mkutano baraza alirudi mimi nikaenda gulf and i was on the telephone 24 hour service lakini wacha niwaambie labda hapa kwetu ndio kuna waislam bandia kule gulf waislamu ni waislamu hata ukiwa kwa hoteli ikifika jioni wanaleta kitu inaitwa iftar sasa unawacha pale ya kulipa pesa unaenda kwa iftar iftar is free chakula ya iftar ni tamu kushinda ya hoteli So nimekaa na Arabu sana na nikapata nafasi ya kwenda kule Yemen ambacho chama chetu kemboi ni kubwa sana. Yemen wana agriculture, wanajaribu kusupply vitu huko na nini. Hawa kanikatalia pia for 3 days. But I was on telephone 24 hour service. Nilikuwa kwa simu. Ukitaka kunipata unanipata naongea na chairman yangu na ongea na Rajab. Mimi Watu wanaenda unajua ukiweka jina la tuli kwa mtandao you make billion sana unapata followers kwa dakika tatu imejaa So people are trying to do business with us but in a negative way eh, naweza kusaidia in a positive way Hakuna mtu hawezi kuwa mgonjwa na mimi nikiwa mgonjwa naenda public Last year wote walijua nilikaa na Nairobi hospital appendix ilitopokea kwa tumbo which is very dangerous because At one time it killed our affiliate here Joseph Bolo tobokea kwa tumbo Nilikaa huko 2 weeks Paka hospitali ikakataa sawa hawakuja kuniona akasema it is too much Na data yangu yote iko na daktari anaitwa Dr. Martin Wanyoike na nilimpa consent Hata nikipata kisonono leo ambia bibi ambia kila mtu niko na kisonono <laughs> I gave a consent in a sign that you can access how my health is performing. Nairobi hospital kwenda. Anderson kule kwa fourth floor unapata daktari Nyoiko anamwambia 
Sisi tuko na mkubwa yetu. Tena tunasikia ni kama anatafuta uchakusi mwingine katika hilo. Hii mtu bado yuko na nguvu. <laughs> Anasema kweli alitupatia consent. Unataka kujua area gani? Kama ni kifama unataka kujua area general. General atakupa 70 because ya miaka ama 80%. Lakini hata kuambia na kuanga na kailment fulani akikuja hapa tunampa dawa ya kwenda kula. Cause it can't be 100% at this age, ndiyo? So, hakuna kitu tunaficha. Na mambo ya propaganda ni kitu ya kawaida. But then also, munataka mjue. Hapa, these are leaders. Even if I dropped dead right now here, how what they can do, including my sister and him, Chana Karo Root, they can do what I can do. Nime mu expose and ajua madirisha yote kule ayano. Ben is up to the task. That is why I attached to Ben kwa mgomo ya madaktari nikiwa inje. Na hii subuhi nimechelewa kwa ajili ya mgomo ya madaktari. Watu wanasema oh watu is not talking. Wakati walipika general sector I was the first person before I left to issue statement. But we are consulting I have been in touch with the minister this morning tena ndio malize ndio nataka kuwa in touch na chama uh, because chama affiliated to court is an independent and free affiliate of court. Hatuwezi kutolea madaktari msimamo ama kutolea serikali msimamo. That is why there is tripartism arrangement. But we can narrow the gap on issues na tupata return to formula madaktari wa Rudi Kasini. That is what I'm working on as sector general or as spokesperson of workers in this country. Na hii Labor Day ambayo tunaenda ni ya 138 Labor Day since 1st of May in 1886 hypermarket kula America watu walianza kupigania haki ya wafanyikazi. So utaona watu wanaandika vitu vingi kwa magazeti what are we going to celebrate what do we have to celebrate you, you can celebrate both successes and failures. Hata nyingi nasikianga wakati mwaka mpia mnaanza mnatoa azimio, honi tanunua gari, situi nitajenga nini. Ikifika December 31st, hiyo vitu uja fulfill. Na nilazima siku ya tare moja januari, uwe na kaholiday ukunyo ikitu yako, uselebrate mwaka munga likufukisha sawa. The purpose of Labor Day is to re-examine how have we performed since we had Labor, last Labor Day last. That is why, and it's Kuyetu, and it's an international day. Na watu walipigania wakikufa kutafuta siku hii. Kwa hivyo ni juu yenu, najua, sisi najua sana upanzi wa maisha, ama how cost of living has been. Muna wana hao watu walikuwa hapa wakiuliza maswali. Watu watatu wanne, Yule muta aliuliza swali, yule muta alisema maneno yuli niingia, alikuwa yule mze, yule mze mwislamu. Uyo ndi alisema, uyo, uyo ndi alisema, abari ya kazi yangu. To agitate on a general issue and of policy matter that concerns our worker. Hizo singine, sijui nina tembea na umbuwa, sijui nafanya nini, Katika mimi nilikupa union. Kwa CBA yako uliweka wapi? Nikisha mpa we union nikuja nikaya na tajiri niko negoshitie scales na vile watu wa umbo unataka wapate. Ha, hiko mbutu uka na ambia atawapa 30,000 shillings. Ata president ya kitangasa 30,000 shillings must be gazetted. Munaonaka tukiweka minimum wage kuenda juu. Na watu wana gazeti ni Ministry of Labor, peke yaki. Sasa ni mutugani mungina nasema, 30,000 itakuwa must. Kuna ojimen wanapata 120, 150, 300,000 shillings. Au taweka watu weo kitaka 30,000. Security officers. Eh? Yule mutu hiko na kioski yake hapa inje. Turnover ya pesa yake ni shilingi miyamoja kwa mwishu wa mwezi. Ame kubaliana na mwezake, amusaidia kulinda hapo for 20,000, which is above ile basic 
katika hiyo industry utafukuza wewe kwa union kwa ajili ya analipa mfanyikazi 20000 wewe unataka 30000 change sana <laughs> so the last one mketi jini tuliwapa union acha hiyo mtu anaitwa fazuli na mimi nana naweza futa mwingine is me who can suck him me i can suck him eh yeah, aweze futa mimi hiyo organization ni kubwa inaweza kufuta minister who is fazuli compared to a minister mtudanganyo jip na mimi naambia wewe andabwa watanyang'anya wewe chama mtu anaita watu ujui anakaa kwa kiti wewe unapatiwa unakaa pale baadaye anakupa milioni moja gawia members wako why are you surrendering your members haikukua rahisi sisi kupatia hiyo chama it was not easy if you have a problem come here we'll assist you sisi ndio tunashikilia leadership ya hizi union sote eh na tukikupatia mama na hakuna kitu kinatoka ndani tutampa mama mwingine Kwa hivyo ile kitu nataka kuambia saa hii issue be fast and what doctors are doing ndio kasi ya union to agitate for their rights Na wakati agitate for their rights it is our duty we are in leadership kutafuta ni njia gani mahafaka kila mtu asipoteze hiyo ni give and take on issue of negotiation that is why i came a little bit late na nataka kuwashukuru sana wote ambao wamekuja kutusikiza I want to go back kwa ile kitu ile mzame amesema Mnajua mimi nilikuwa azimio sisi na Raila Na mimi ni lazima nimshukuru President Ruto Amechukua ishi ya Raila kama yake I was the first person mimi kutoa statement hata tulipokuwa katika katika last labor day niliomba president nikasema we want to move towards one direction yes kenya kwanza mmepata kama mmepata kama iko njia muhafaka mwingine akitaka kupata hata huko african union or anywhere apate support so that a nation moves as a, a, a highly uh, uh, a highly rejuvenated united you see a country that can be able to focus monitor and see things ahead and that is exactly what will i have never seen it in my life mimi nilikuwa hapa nikiwa mdogo wakati wa president uhuru baba ya uhuru mzee kinyata alipochukua inji hii alihakikisha kwamba jaramogi hakuamuka kichwa chini nimekuwa hapa wakati wa moi moi ni just let us egg anajua Let's see kama tunaweza kukubali opposition after amendment of uh, section 2A ya katiba yetu. Na it was not easy. Alafu ndiye akaanza kuongea na opposition. Nimekuwa hapa wakati wa kibaki to a negotiation paka Kofi Annan na United Nations zikakuja kutusaidia. Nimekaa hapa wakati wa uhuru it was a handshake. But now there is no any clear cut on the current understanding but then the government says i my government doesn't want to hear that kama mwenzangu anataka kazi waja nimsaidie william is not in the country tai mambo ya madaktari na vitu vingi mambo mengi iko hapa sisi kama court tumefanya appointment hata mambo ya mishahara kuonana na yeye kabla ya siku ya labor day immediately he comes but he is doing a noble job of making sure that he comes from a state that is unified focused and it has people with foresight thinking irrespective of their political differences hiyo ndio inji tunataka sisi hata ukiingia hapa kwangu ukiwa kwa opposition ni same way ni mtu opposition na ile issue ilikuwa raised na ile mzee ya housing levy na zingine zitakuja hata kodi kodi na kubaliana 
na watu wetu hapa tulitengeneza hapa hata tukasoma siku ya Labor Day matajiri hawalipi kodi ya serikali tulitoa wakati wa oru ndio watu wakaanza kulipa kodi kodi did it tukaendelea hivyo watu hawalipi kodi na tukasema one day there will be a government that will compel people to pay taxes kama watu hawalipi taxes infrastructure inakuwa shida vitu vingine vinakuwa na problem sisi katika manifesto yetu kama azimio tulikuwa tumesema tutapeana housing na hiyo nchi ilikuwa pushed na hawa tukiwa tukiwa Serena eh yes, ndio tulimba Raila tukasema wafanyikazi wetu wengi cannot afford paying rents malandlords wanaongeza bei usiku na mchana tunataka government ikiingia sisi tulikuwa tuna rely maybe there will be budget that location for that ama watafute mbinu zingine wajengee affordable housing kwa fatikasi wetu we had that in manifesto Kenya kwanza walikuwa dayo kwa manifesto yao pia When you have something in manifesto you have your own way your own your own way of implementing it Wakatafuta njia yao ya kuimplement na hiyo njia ndio ilisikia hiyo mzaki sema but what we made sure because sasa they are, they are having teething problem kama fund na tukawaambia because pesa nyingi zitatoka kwa wafanyikazi na we must be represented on that board saa hii wako na Ivasha na Ernest na Dome hayuko hapa ma assistant yeye yeah, yuko huko ila hakikishe all those segments of payment sisi hatufinywi lazima hakikishe ama hazihumizi mfanyikazi ama what will be the end results utaendelea kulipa namna hivyo mwisho kutakuwaje but the program we support na pia tujue kama kutakuwa siku ya last labor day niliita president after uh, after lanjon alitupata kule KICC and he explained it to all general secretaries na nimeambia hivi hawa if he created any departure from the explanation we had kama ali change vitu vingine ndani mulete because we are having a meeting with him kabla ya labor day the main purpose ya mkutano wetu na yeye ni ya kwamba last year sisi tuliuliza general wage increase hatukuuliza minimum because since 2022 akiingia kwa serikali uchumi ilikuwa mbaya sana na everybody was hit hata uwe kwa ofisi gani uwe na CBA au na CBA in 1972 mzee Kinyata alitangaza general wage increase to cover everybody sisi tuna CBA tuna CBS minimum wage is ID sisi huwa tunapigania wale watu wengine wa chini wa nje ili wakikuja juu sisi tuna build our CBS from there ama wale watu wana represent katika wages council na hao watu mnaona kwa magazeti kila saa kwa social media they are not members of the union wana insight nyingi wanasema oh your leaders are doing nothing kemboi to renew cbs ngapi katika plantation 42 cbs it is 42 cbs si cover some of the deductions serikali inatoa kwa mshahara wa fanikazi yapo cbs na ukiangalia watu wote they are busy with their cbs our authority and power is in two documents recognition agreement and collective bargaining agreement hapo ndio unataka kujifungia hata nikienda kuongea pale uhuru park mambo inahusu CBA baadaye labor because we registered with the ministry it advise government these people have got a CBA why don't they put what they are asking in the CBAs ukiona problem ya negotiation unakuja hapo tunakutafutia expert 
Because the world is changing fast. Sometimes we might not be able to move as fast as what is where the world is going now. To the corner, see the technology as a man. See the polytechnic technology. Piga randa, piga nini. Tukatoka hapo pole pole. Tukatukuja kwa easy communication era. Wawo tulikuwa na teleprinders, telexes, and so on. Tukatoka hapo, tukaingia half both. A half here as a mandi, and the new one to come, ambawa liita unlock system. Pali inatoka inakuwa driven by a modern automatic equipment. Ikifika kwako isa unlock. Iyo tumetoka huko, tukaingia kwa computerized era. Pali watu wanatumia computer. Na hizo computer, they are not as modern as, now, as what we have now. Because they are not smart and they are not digital. Sasa tumetoka huko, tumeingia to the really digital world. Which has introduced digital economy or e-platform or, or platform economy or e-commerce or e-economy, uh, electronic economy, economy driven by electronic. Sasa, what it has created is the most dangerous one. Because the modern technology in the late artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence coupled with the uh, with the plastic biology. Unaweza kutengeneza mtu, unampa chip, unamweka ndani, unampa program ya kufanya kazi for a week or for a day, na ataenda vile yuko program. Na ukimwambia maneno anasikia. Mwambia usubuhi nipate chai, kila kitu yuko kwa meza utaipata. Ukimaliza usafishe vitu uende, atafanya hivyo. Uwe mtu sio mgonjwa aende hospitali, aende mgomo, auliza overtime. That's where the world is going. So as we move, we need also to look into those aspects. And particularly when it comes to modern collective bargaining. We must have smart people in the office. We must expose our people to IT information technology. If you don't have those people, there are a lot of young men from the university. Employ them, train them to match the current world economic trend. They are quite relevant. Otherwise, we are going to be relevant. So I just wanted to tell you that uh, as we celebrate Labor Day this year, our, we will repeat the William Shanahan economist and Asema, the minimum, if it were to be general wage increase, it will be 26.3 or something around there. Ambaye inaweza kama itaenda kwa everybody. We want to see, kama ni negotiation, tutaenda na serikali. Kama watakuja na desk, na sis tuche na general, na we will have some officers with me here, na watu ambao wanaelewa, ni wapi tunataka tupereka wafanyikazi. Whatever will come out, we will let the president announce. That is our work. But more importantly, Muje kwa wingi. Diyo tunaweza ongea maneno ya e-citizen okwara na ongea hapo. Hizi pesa, tutapanga. Diyo tutaongea maneno ya housing. Kama mekuja kwa wingi. Eh? Mambo ya housing levy. Na diyo tunaweza ongea what will be our benefits after hiyo. Na diyo tutaongea jia matajiri. Because mwileo nasikia chedia na sema kule Matajiri wanataka tu kitu kidogo wakimbie Kenya. Because they are not paying taxes and they are making money. But now currently government is narrowing down on them. Kama government apana correct some of these other things to attract both foreign and indirect investments. Wataenda. Barasa. What do you barasa? Tulikuwa na mkutano gani hile tulilonja hape economic paper yetu. What was the date? 24th of February. 24th 
I'm being told it was February. No, it was January. It was January. Tulikuwa na mkutano hapa na kwetu ili prepare paper on a devaluation of Kenya shilling. Hii ndiyo ilituweka pali pabaya sana. Shilingi yetu kwa dola ilikuwa imepita, imefika, almost kufika 160. 164. Unaona? Na tuka fanya research together na kijana moja kutoka university. Economist. Na tuka tengeneza paper ambayo ilishika kila pahali. Hiyo paper tukajua hii msukumo otu tunapata kutoka kwa hali banganda IMF. Tukapereka huko. Pepa tukamperekea waziri wa fedha. Aone mambo ya shilingi. Kiendolea hivi hakuna mkenya tabaki hapa hai. Because most of strategic things including medicine we import. Tukapeana kwa Central Bank of Kenya. Tukapeana na wale watu wanausika na mambo ya pesa. Na nikaambia hapa watu the press was there mkiangalia clips zenu watu wa press mtaona. Nikawaambia our the devaluation of our shilling does not reflect the true economic performance on the ground. Kenya has huge informal economy and our informal economy drives formal economy. Naona hii watu wa Vyoski wa nini hii? wanapereka mabilioni ya pesa kwa bangi na chondo. Na serikali ikimonta hizo pesa hawezi kujua na hawezi ku deep our economy yende tu chini na mna hivyo. We don't depend on the actual daily monitored economic activities. And that is why the, when the world had a global financial and economic crisis, Kenya, was, Kenya and other African countries were not hit when Obama was being elected president in the U.S. Because of our strong informal economy. And in the region where the starlight, satellite of economic activities. We drive Uganda economy. We drive Tanzanian economy. We drive Zanzibar economy. We drive all these economies around us, including Kigali and what have you. They are driven by a co anyone who wants to go and invest there and ingia Kenya and watch up our dollars. The money they use in Sudan, South Sudan, Dafu, yote hiyo pesa inaweku hapa watu wanaenda kufanya economic feasibility studies before they come here. So you cannot just wake up from the wrong side, the wrong side of your bed. When I say mao, shilingi ya Kenya iko devalued. When we said that, na tukapeana yo makarani, na tukambia serikali, Consult here, consult here, consult here. From that date, the following day, shilingi ilianza kuimbrufu. Up to date. And I want to appeal to our economists, and I had appealed to them. They must not leave that trend. Washikilia hapo, because pesa sakigeni, ndiyo sinafanya inji na survive. Na hapo ndipo tulipokuwa. Na pia, Hii ni maneno nyinyi mnataka kujua. Kwa watu wanasema oh sasa oh, atuele ameingia kwa serikali amefanya nini? Court is not affiliate, affiliate of government. It's not even a department. Lakini wakati serikali ilikuja we protect you people. Now to protect you we need their police, we need their services, we need everything. We cannot go solo. Na kulingana na tripartism arrangement set from international labor organization to here, government on issues of labor, it, is, it works under tripartism arrangement. Tatu, that is employer, workers, and government through ministry of uh, labor. So at West Quran, at West Court, the Geneva delegation every June like this June will be led by government minister. Kwa hivyo hile mimi sikuwa natafuta kiti kwa zimio. There was lots for workers I was fighting for. Na hawa lipitisha wakasema that was a resolution. So I had go, to go back to the office. Na nika mtangazia ni meenda back to office. Na serikali, through interested parties, na through sisi, tukafanya appointment kukutana na mkubwa inji. 
Tulipokutana na mkubwa wa inji, nilisi kuenda peke yangu, nilienda na wao hote. Kitu ya kwanza tukamu request, aje, atu presidea over Labor Day. Aka kubali. Kitu ya pili, since we attend the independence, no Kenyan president has addressed the International Labor Conference in Geneva. Sasa ni sisi uongeanga wanasema yu watu wanaongea vizuri. Where do they come from? Aka kuja Geneva na sisi juni. Recognizing the request ya hawa. Tukamambia kitu ya tatu, tutakuwa na conference ya Afrika mzima hapa Nairobi. Safari Park. Mwezo wa November. Ujo utufungulie. Aka kuja, aka tufungulia. Na nikamambia hii nji zingine tunaanda Serikali huwa ina support wageni kama hawa. What are you supporting us with? Your government. Akatuma 10 million shillings kwa hotel Safari Park. Akatuma president ya hiyo mkutano ambayo tulikuwa nao Safari Park. Akasema my contribution will be 10 million. Nikasema bus kuja direct to the hotel. Akarudishia nyinyi deni yenu chini Rebecca. Sasa, deni hile tuko nao na president ni amuaka hii. Na diyo tunangojea tukae, tena tusikizani. Barua mepata, yei ni mgeni wetu tare moja. Mambo ingine hii kama ule mzame sema na wengine. Policy issues. Koto deals with policy issues. Mili natoka plantation. Uwezu kuja hapa usikie na sema kule plantation ni trafinyu wa hivi tunafanyi. Tunaoga na isi na kemboi. Kama hiko nyapara na sumbuwa wafanyikaza, naendewa usiku na wafanyikaza. Zewezi kuta kulia hapa. Pole pole tu. Kawa mungina liperekewa shop steward wetu msichana. Anakaa na ewe. Tuka insight urafiki yake mungina na kuja na bibi kwa ba. Zama angalia mzana kaanga na uyu msichana. Na ajwi mzoe iso indo sedi lakini ya na sumbuwa wafanyikaza. Ha? Anafakiliwa na hila lilea mpereka huko bibi yake Anafakiliwa na mjumbali na mama Amambia kumbe hii naendanga huko kwa hima nene So we deal with them at our own level Here we deal with policy issue Ambasi na concern mutu wa Wa local government Ama wa chama cha robatuba Mutu wa maji Mutu wa security Mutu wa tailors Mutu wa vyama vyote So when you come here We want a policy direction Ya kuamba hindi hii, hile naweza kuuliza rise. In your opinion, unawanda tunayenda to the right direction. Kama apana uniambie hindi, unataka ukikutana na mkubwa umuambie. Unasikia? Na pia, mimi husema na facts. Ukinifuata tangu nilipokuwa hapa. 30 years ago, nikikuja hapa, hapa nimemaliza almost 20 years. Niliambia wafanyikazi, Kama watu wana kiwanda yote itakayodikilea ufanyikazi redundant. Iyo hiko kwa kilipu utafute. Chomeni hiyo kiwanda. Tajiri wa lose na ufanyikazi wa lose. Ikasimama. Ha? Suwezi kutoka hapa na yenda huisero huko nyumbani kukao kwa sahi mfuwa imenyesha kama hii. Na tajiri wa lipeba pesa ya jasho yangu. Na haka yenda kufungua kiwanda pali ingine. Choma. Ha ha ha. Na wakasimama, they stopped it. Nikasema, if there will be a question, let somebody come and ask me. Because in jia za redanda, and this is the cause, mpaka buta ufuate sheria. So what I'm trying to say in brief, mambo yote ambayo inatukabili, hawa jamaa wana handle in a positive way. Na indataka umoja, pana propaganda, pana social media, Hapana newspapers issue. Kwa hivyo kwa jili ya mvua, na hao ndio yeme sidi. Mimi nataka kuona, au ukiwa na watu ambao utaleta. Mulete watu wengi. Siku yu atare moja muje kwa wingi. Na sisi na hawa, tuko kwa majadiliano. Anda mshua, hakuna mtu ajui vile maisha imefinya wa Kenya. Hakuna hile ajui. Hakuna hile ajui. Kwa hivyo tukimaliza mkutano ya 
ya pale kwa park ya uhuru gardens i'm 100% president are respond at respond uh, positively na pia kuna waziri mkira rafiki yangu aliadmit akasema president alikuwa anataka kuongeza nyinyi pesa na ni mimi nilimwambia tumeingia kwa nyumba tutajua didi iko huko i'm apologizing mimi na accept apology ya huyo minister because he told me personally kwa hivyo wale wenzetu ambao wana mambo mingi atashushwi juu ya uongozi wetu hapa anataka kuhakikishia hapa tuko dhabiti hizi zote nikiwasomea ni document mzuri sana prepared na sisi ambazo ziko geared towards helping you including hii hii ndio imetusaidia ku strengthen economy na unapata mtu anatembea huko nje anasema watu wa kotu wanafanya nini a produce economic paper ambayo inaweza kusaidia serikali ku ku kufanya shilingi yetu ipate nguvu ili mambo ya importation ya vitu vingi viche katika nchi yetu badala ya nchi shilingi ku depreciate i appreciate hapo ndio kiongozi wewe anaangalia kwa hiyo nataka kuwashukuru na nitasiti kuwashukuru pia kuwashukuru kwa kuja kwa wingi wakati wa mvua tuko na final meeting on 28 eh? tarehe 28 27 27 ndio tutapanga mipango ya kurudi kusherekea hiyo labor day kama ile ya last year eh? na mambo ya labor day vile nimesema is not only to celebrate successes even our failures pale hatujafanya vizuri nimeambia watu wangu wa plantation wa technical committee since we had uh, last year labor day up to date since tuko wapi unaambia watu wa union mnatengeneza committees na leta report nasema hii hatukupata hii tulipata hii hatukupata hii tulipata hii uwezi kupata 100% lakini ukipata kidogo unashukuru na pia unashukuru hawa leaders one of the most important of a trade union is to protect the rights of working men and women these gentlemen and ladies have tried Hakuna kesi zile tulikuwa tunapata hapo zinakuja tumefutwa watu 200 tumefutwa watu kapi tuna shida gani hao wamejaribu na when you see labor movement is quiet it has sound leadership kama hakuna sound leadership watu watapika kelele kwa hiyo union mtu hawezi kukubali kukatiwa pesa zake na union haifanyi kazi mnasikia hiyo maneno una kama si kusipochunga those your members will go away So I want to appeal you gentlemen to continue doing what you are doing you have our total support to protect our watu wetu na pia kuhakikisha kwamba kama case ni industrial court inaenda ukitaka usaidizi we have lawyers here tuna lawyers hapa wa kusaidia ukitaka evidence ya daktari mtu aende kwa daktari union haina pesa we have doctors here that we can consult so that you go to industrial court with a concrete uh, case that you will be able to win na hiyo ndio kasi yetu kama viongozi wafanyikazi. Pana propaganda. Eh? Pana propaganda. Kasi ya kweli na kitu inaweza kufanyika. Na kupata nduru kutoka kwa tajiri nyinyi unajua sio rahisi. Even 1% nimemaliza almost 6 months nikifight na watu wa Taita Saisol. Kwa percent moja kwenda kwa mfanyikazi 6 months fighting. Tulikubaliana juice ndipo ingia ndio walipigia nikasema take my percentage na wanatengeneza CBA kutoa kwa tajiri percent moja na hiyo percent tulikuwa tunataka tuongeze kwa hizo zingine ndio tupate kwa miaka mbili tukipiga mtu fanyikasa ataenda na kitu mzuri and that is our work gentlemen eh? kama mgelikuwa mnapata utapata negative reports kutoka kwangu atuele amefanya nini amefanya hii na ile wakati nilitaka mama mdogo niliwatangazia <laughs> because jiji ndio watu wangu mnanilipa mshahara na nyinyi ndio mtaangalia nitapata wapi bahari ya kupeleka kwa mama mdogo. I announce to you here. Na kwa magazeti na kila kitu watu wakajua. Hakuna kitu ya siri kwangu. Na mimi ni wenu na simu yangu mko nayo. Hata nikiwa Ulaya natumia simu ya hapa. Ukisikia propaganda ya watu wanaotaka kutengeneza pesa wakitumia jina yangu. Just call me. Mimi nikasema wangelikuja Nairobi Hospital last year 
between September and Linga September 16 in Katoka, October 3rd. They were going to say, Oh, you would have a support of you. Because our appendix would have to be here. And I've never reached that stage. I took on a doctor to Tangalia. I said, Doctor, I have any advice. Don't go to Labor Day. You don't know what. You don't know what. You don't know what. Sister Yangu Karo. They will lead you. Reverend Chebi Utamuona. Rebecca Yuko. Tuko na Roba Duba. These are all leaders who are not up. You will see them. Hata anda wa utakuja. Kuna Rosso Mamo. Hiyo conference tulikuwa nao last year. Mechakua Rosso Mamo. Kuwa Vice President wa Afrika. Atunge li hosti na tukose kutoka na kiti. So what I'm trying to say is. Be rest assured there is sound leadership, leadership that is consultat consultative. We are consulting both employers, government, and everybody. And if there is anything, I will be the first person to know. Na sahi, ni nataka kuambia. Serikali ilioko ya William, kaa nafanya vitu yaki. Lakini ana recognize heads of institutions. Sisa me to recognize. Come an authority on industrial relations matters. That is why yo kitu naitua SHA, Social Health Authority, ilipuanzishwa nilikuwa ngambo, nikapata wa meuliza hapa CV yangu, na akakataa mutu mgina sky kwa hiyo, itachukua pesa mingi wa fanyikasa tuwe la kai huko. Alinde vile nililinda pesa ya NSSF. So, we are consulting, and the government that is consulting is a good government. And always I've told you people, Na hii musikia, musikia propaganda. It's better to have a bad government than not to have one. Mina muambia njini. Kuenda kule rejiti sasa. There is no government. Ata president akikuja, lazima aperekwe na guns. Mbuna wana. Ama kuenda kwa inji njiki failed states. Ziku ambasa asina serikali kamsa. Area hii watu wamejikatia wanachukua kodi yao. Na ujui. Kama ulipi, unakatua, unakufa. There is no codes. So any government in place is worth a million times than another government. And a weak government is more stronger than one strong man. Yon diyo kitu mataka mjue hiyo. So and there are naipanya routes ilitengenezwa. If there is a complaint, which panya route can you follow to address your issues? Huh? If I didn't have an authority and experience, would have I come, nimekuja, nimekilia mamba hiya madaktari, nimeongea na minister, we are consulting. Because you have given me authority. You are my employers. And you elected me to work for you. And I will do that. Sina biashara ingine, Auta enda kwa kioska hata kwa kambuni. Upate niko na share su huko. Ama salaried person kwa pesa enu. Ini mtu wa mshara. Auta pata hivyo. Ama upate ni meingia kwa kiwanda yako. Ni mekunyo chai na tajiri na buwana tuwe na likuwa hapa. Ni kienda kwa hoteli ambazo na wakilishwa na ndugu zangu hapa. Mtu daulisa kwanza ni chief. Chief shop steward wa hoteli. Ndiyo nalipa nae bili yangu. Na diana beba msigo yangu kunipereka kwa room. Hapana ni tumepatiwa complimentary. Hapa ni mepita kericho huko kwetu ni mechukua majani. Majani inaletu wana shop stewards wakipata. That is me. Na nilawambia, that is why, hauta pata hivyo ngosu wakotu wana kwa investigated. We are not subjected to any investigation because njanjia dina handle mambo henu hapa. Niko likuwa corrupting, niko kwa shares, niko kepsa, haa, Kama marafiki zako wengine andabwa. Ni watu walichukua pesa kepsa. And we know them. Na tena wanasema askari mkua hapa nataka muambie. Pia mchanuke. Iyo group force number. Imbloya atalipa 12 million. Iyo automated. It's not for free. Times 1,300. Iyo ni 15 billion. Iyo minatangasiwa huko uhuru pak. Muulise what is the code ya Union's bag account. Ngapi itaenda kwa wafajikazi. Muna danganyo wa mchana. Nukuzangu. Muna danganyo wa mchana. 
Muta jakuwa shop steward anasema ataleta watu hapo. Atapata tena nyinyi ndio mtalima yeye hapo. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say in other words, let us be pragmatic. We have our interest to protect and the interest ya mfanyikazi kila siku ni haki yake kiwandani. And I want to let all those people who are interested kwa kazi ya trade union hata nyinyi wakati wa election start up. Yeah. Because as hii team inatoka tunataka kuona team ingine inaingia. Eh yeah. nimekuwa hapa na several teams sawa kina Lubembe sawa kina Juma Boy sawa kina Mlei tumekuwa hapa na timu nyingi Wagrogendo James Karebe eh yeah. baadaye kaendelea na mna hivyo JJ Mugala zile group zilikuwa hapa kina Benjamin Zioka very powerful people wakina Mrugu John yeah. na kama sisi tulikuwa tuwafuati nyuma pole pole we would be weak people now we want to remain strong and we are strong not only strong in Kenya strong in East Africa strong in the region strong in Africa and strong in the world organization yenu it occupies number 2 seat dunia mzima na nimeambia nyinyi to do so i must have strong soldiers behind me and you are my soldiers na kitu inaitwa weak ni mtu mtu ambaye hana nguvu na i've told you always here nobody would like to be associated with a weak person hata family yako naambia anga family families wasichana kama hawa nini you must get a strong husband to protect you and your children kama si hivyo wewe unafikiria uko na bibi kwa nyumba kijana mwingine anapiga honi huko nje ti 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 bibi anaambia kama mtoto dora kengine anachukua pole yuko mtu anachukua bag bwana anakuliza na unaenda wapi hii watoto wamelala njaa unataka nikae hapo watoto wakufa hapa anafuta anaenda pole pole nyumba ni ya gorofa anateremka kengine ka kijana yako kanakupenda sana ama kama msichana tumsichana tunapenda baba zao kana rudi kana sema dadi tuende dadi ala kana pigwa mkono dadi anataka kupeleka wapi hapa unalala njaa na kupeleka kwa chakula gari inapika moto wewe unarudi kwa dirisha kuangalia bibi yako akienda hivi So we must remain strong to protect our interests. We must remain strong to, to represent our interests. A weak person cannot represent you. Anybody weak cannot represent you. Wewe angalia Raila ametoa ametoa jina yake. Almost all African presidents wanasema wata support yeye. Because he's strong enough in Kenya. And he has a strong backing ya President William Ruto which is a very unique thing. Saya mefagia Western Central Africa. He has not come here. My friends wana nipigia uko simu. Nigeria last week they endorsed Raila. And that is the way forward. Eh? Mutu uende vile muna nipereka hivi. Ikifika paali, sasa mnaona huyu mze, anataka akalie kiti ingine siyo hii. Muni unge mkono. <laughs> siyo diyo sawa. Na hiyo ndiyo heshima unaweza kupeana kwa hiyo colleague. I have never seen anywhere like that. And that is why kila mtu yuko na makosa yake. William anaweza kuwa na weaknesses yake like a human being I have my own weaknesses everybody has. Lakini bila handshake. Because mimi nilipigia Raila. Raila is my brother in law. Before I went to the press, nikasema nimekusupport kwa hii kitu. Naona watu wetu wa Uda na watu wa Kenya kwanza they are giving you maximum support msali ya is out campaigning you have any form of agreement right akasema hapana so no form of agreement kama kungelikuwa na form of agreement mngeliona kwa magazeti so unaona that is a unique person anasema toa hii mesa tuende tusaidie mwenzetu so we, we must thank him as well on what he's trying to do watu wengi wangelipendelea kama mlisimama na yeye uchaguzi you languish in poverty vitu yako anafungia biashara yako anafungia ana, so that you don't come back again lakini that appreciation alone na wa Kenya wana hoji na watu wengine wana hoji hiyo inatoka at the bottom of the heart of your president and lazima tufikirie maneno kama hayo and that is why hata mimi nilipokuja hapa nikasema siasa ya reconciliation ndio mzuri 
Sisi hapa kwa hata tukuangi na opposition. Ukisimama ukikuja na opposition, tutasimama hivi tukuangalia wewe peke yako hivi. Because we are playing politics of reconciliation and support of one another. Collectively as it is required, as power mandate. Nasikia hiyo. Kwa hivyo nataka hiyo njia, tufate hiyo. Lakini taremosi, jamen. Last time I tried, after elections, kuleta hile watu tulileta. Reverend wakansaidia na watu wengine. I want general secretaries to bring people. Kama muna njia kubeba hawa, tuketi tuone, wale wako dandora watakuja na mnagana, watarudi na mnagana. Lazima we must bring people. Na wale wana program ambaye ni ambali na majendo secretaries. Barasa, yuko hapa 24, service la Bruno. Munawambia we have about 500 people at a place. How are we bringing these people? They will vet you, they will see how we can get people to the stadium. Ili wafanyikazi wakiwa wengi. President will not be responding to me. He will be representing to you. Eh? So hiyo ndiyo kitu nime wauliza. Siku hiyo tuwe kwa wingi. Mambo ingine tutahita mkutani yetu ya kawaida. Ya kusema ya kwamba ni lazima tuwe pamoja. Tupendane. Tuungane. And I'm alert. Let me tell you. According to new technology. Sasa. Ukiingia kwa simu na simu yangu. Hii. Una nitafuta. Kama ingi, wacha hile likuwaga ya kufawad. Automatically, simu ya Bruno ama ya Barasa inapiga. Ina twingle. Namba yako itatokea huko na jida yako. Na hawa haraka wata nitafuta, wata sema so and so is online, is looking for you. So hile ya kufawad, technology mpia. Natana wale watu wako na simu mchunge sasa. Under new technology muta naweza kutumia hii kamera ya simu yako. Kupika wewe picha kwa nyumba yako. Na simu yako ndiyo inamperekea. Unasikia tu kitu inakiliki kwa simu, cha cha cha, ameja chukua kamera yako. Anajua hui yuko wapi, wewe yuko wapi. So the technology is changing fast, particularly with smart judgments. So we are alert here 24-7. Hakuna kitu ambayo inaweza kuhuzo our affiliates to same as Satujui. That is why wakati David Daktar, kiongozo wa Daktar alipopigwa, by seven deals who are on KTN, na viombo vietu, NTV and other uh, TVs. That day, the same day, tukisha pata abari. And I want you to continue knowing that. That hakuna mutu, there is now a global saying that we will leave, we will leave no one behind. Hakuna mutu tutawacha juma, sis. Kwa hayo, nataka kwa, sh kwa shukuru, mkutano wetu wa mission 27, mutatuletea assessment, siku hile. Mutulete assessment how we can get people to the stadium. Maybe I would have finished the negotiations between us and the government. For the purposes of making sure we better your terms and conditions of service. Lakini ngoma yetu mjue, ngoma yetu kubwa, yiko ndani ya CBA. Yuachia hapo. Na kama mtu yiko na shida yote ambayo itakayokuwa ni ya recognition ama ni ya ninapia. Nataka kwa omba, prepare some of the questions out of my speech and what I have spoken. So that when we meet here on 27th, we will have maybe atakuwa na manyunyu manyunyu, tutakuwa na session mrefu ya maswali, kuhuliza tu kidogo kwa yale tunataka, lakini the direction we are taking, I have told you. Yeah. Na kitu kimebaki ni kwenu, mkikuja wengi kwa wingi, then we expect positive results. I thank you very much. Basi, wandugu zangu, um, tuwa, tumbe katipu tena makofi ingine. <laughs> Alavu na nyinyi pia mchipikia makofi tukisimama. Nafikiri, tufanya hivyo, uh, next week, 27, tutaulisa kama vile katipu wa mesema, you know, proposals, na uh, the way forward, the way you want to be done, speech and all, and everything that is, uh, cond uh, you know, pertaining Labor Day celebration. Otherwise, na shukuru,
Um, nimeambiwa kuna soda. Usiseme kwa nini wanaleta soda kama barita. Hatu hawakujua kama itanyesha lakini you can unaweza kukunywa tu leo. Mambo mengine baadaye. Baba tunakushukuru. Maana yake umekuwa na sisi tangu tulipoanza. Tunaombea vile vile wa ndugu zetu wa televisheni na tunaombea viongozi wa mashinani ambao wanaondoka pamoja nasi general secretary ambao wako hapa katibu mkuu ndugu yetu dr Francis Atoli sisi zote sasa tumefika mwisho wa hii mkutano na baba tunaomba tunapoondoka kila mmoja wetu tuongoze mbele na huwe katikati na malaika yako ikatusingira mali tutakapoenda na mpaka siku ile tutakapokutana hapa tarehe 27 shukuli yote ya leba day iko chini ya mkononi mwako neema sote itembee na watu wako asande maana unawalinda kwa masingira iliyo ngumu lakini kwa sababu we ni Mungu wao na we ni Mungu yetu tunakupa sifa kwa kila kitu umefanya so chukua sifa sote wakati huu na hata siku sichaso kwa jina la baba na la mwana na roho mtakatifu amen na songa mbele tunasonga tunasonga wafanye kazi tunasonga tunasonga mbele tunasonga tunasonga wafanye kazi tunasonga tunasonga mbele tunasonga of the day in association with KFC. Ramadan.